It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're having a great time out there, hope you're having a great weekend guys and today we're looking at a sneaker that is basically, I didn't think I was going to get in hand but I managed to get this in hand and it's not for me guys but I'm telling you guys, this is basically a sneaker that's 10 years in the making and is built to tell your story. It's basically an all-purpose sneaker but it's built to tell your story. So let's get into the review guys. So, welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're having a great time out there, hope your weekend was great, hope you're all enjoying your weekend and your Sunday afternoon and hope you're all doing the positive things both mentally and physically to excel, to push those barriers, to push those boundaries, to achieve your goals for the year and your basically goals for your life and also on that note, please do check out the Shoe Dog Podcast, make sure you go and check it out for with me and Q, go and talk about sneaker, to go and talk about basically sneaker information, sneaker news and sneaker strategies for businesses and basically we always 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 look at what's relevant at this moment in time and always look at all the content that's out there in terms of sneaker news and also we take all the bad practices to sneaker core public opinion so join us on the shoe dog podcast every tuesday at 6 p.m gmt and 1 p.m est and on that note please do like follow subscribe come and chat to me let's have a conversation let's break it down like we always do and on today's sneaker Damn, there's so much to this sneaker. I'm like, I didn't think I was gonna get this sneaker in hand. It's not for me, to be honest. It's not my type of sneaker, but I have to get this in hand to review. And guys, I'm telling you, it's like, there's so much stuff to this. There's like, creativity is evil. Creativity is bad. Do, don't go for newness, don't go for lightness. Basically, be a general purpose sneaker. And on that note, guys, hey, presto shebang. This is the Tom Sachs general purpose sneaker, archive dark sulfur. Damn, this is unique. So this is the Tom Sachs general purpose sneaker dark sulfur archive it's called archive in the sneakers app and it's called the dark sulfur colorway but damn this is such a unique colorway and before we even talk about the sneaker let's take a look at the box because hey presto shebang look at the box guys look at the box this is this is like crazy like orange decked out the traditional Nike catch your attention orange box and as you can see it's definitely the nightcraft bang there you go guys nightcraft on the top and that nightcraft on the side panel and the nightcraft on there and the nightcraft with that general purpose shoe right there guys calling a shoe on a sneaker okay <laughs> and there you go guys that is what the actual label looks like that's what the actual symbology for the nightcraft looks like it is just Hey, you know the orange boxes that you used to have back in the day that caught your attention? Nike's strategy was give them the orange box. It's something special inside. This is it, guys. This is that something special. This is that something everybody needed to look at. And um, I'm going to give you my opinion on this sneaker and I'm going to give you my opinion on what this sneaker is about and the philosophy from Tom Sachs on this sneaker. But guys, look at this. Tom Sachs on the front of this box, absolutely where it opens up. And obviously you get all the symbology there. And at the bottom, as you can see, this actually says, oh, let's do more. There's a lot to do with that philosophy on this sneaker and even the first original pair. But this is a great, great sneaker. And on the label box, it says, there you go, guys. That's what the label box looks like. As you can see, this is a size 13 US, size 12 UK, not my size. And obviously, it says general purpose shoe, dark sulfur, which is the colorway, white light cream. This is all comes into that sneaker. And the code should be DA6672700. That's what it should be. That's what it should look like, guys. And on top of that, I'm going to read the inside of this box because it's unique. But you get some word writing there. And obviously, you get 
get that oh, tissue paper and some sort of QC check code right there, that little green tag there. And basically that's what it is. You got some, looks like some bullets right there. There you go guys. It's some loads of Tom Sachs's original kind of sketches on this. You got the Nightcraft is probably sketch. He's got his kind of signature. You got his little drawings. You got his like even the even the bottom of the box looks like it's his notes. Um, and then yeah, on this, but most importantly on this, I'm gonna show you guys what this reads. And if you pause it right there, you'll be able to see and read that. But it actually says. Nightcraft shoes are manufactured to the exact specification of champion athletes throughout the world. And this is what the sneaker is about. It's a general purpose sneaker, basically designed for all purpose use. Uh, the design is constructed of Nightcraft products supported for all activities of your life and tell your story. That's another thing that goes into the sneaker. It's all about you telling your story about that sneaker. And that's what the actual meaning behind the sneaker is. General purpose, all for use and all so on top of that is making that sneaker your own owning less and basically making it your own this is what the sneaker entails and this is why a lot of people are gravitating to this sneaker because it's, it's just like an ordinary sneaker but you have to tell your own story within it and also on top of that guys this sneaker has been 10 years in the making ever since tom Sachs came on board with nike in basically been designing this sneaker to actually distribute it to the mass public because this sneaker is special i'm going to tell you guys this sneaker is special knife craft shunned innovation for its own sake but embraces it as a necessity. Another factor on this sneaker, necessity, general purpose, all goes into line with that. Top quality products fulfilled for intended purposes while remaining as hard wearing as possible and the quality and the breakdown and the way it's been built, it demonstrates that 100%. Before recycling, there is reuse and before reuse, there is durability and that is this sneaker guys. That's what the box says and that's how it should read. It's Back to basics, guys. Back to basics. General purpose sneaker, back to basics. With that orange box, with that Nike all over it, with that general purpose labeling and the, all the sketches. Great, great box, great box. Love this box, absolutely gorgeous. I love this box a lot. It's just styling. You know, like you say, make it your own. You grab a box, you can sketch on it, you can doodle on it, you can do all these crazy stuff on it. This is this box. If you have a Nike box, Go crazy guys, go crazy. That's the box guys. Now let's take a look at this sneaker. It's sneaker time, so hey presto shebang. And as you can see guys, this is the Tom Sachs general purpose sneaker. The archive, the dark sofa. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous looking sneaker. Before we break this beautiful sneaker down, I really wanted to read you guys the actual release information of the sneakers app because it got me thinking, it got me really interested and invested in what this sneaker means. And guys, let me just read this to you. Creativity is the enemy and that's quite strange because creativity invites innovation, invites progress. But basically, if you really think about it, this is a general purpose sneaker for all purposes and it basically takes back into what sneakers should be. So creativity has maybe changed the aspect of sneakers in terms of Tom Sachs's point of view. Just because you can doesn't mean you should and that is basically telling you sometimes just simple things are the best things and this is basically what the sneaker represents resist newness for newness sake built on proven foundations and innovation incrementally so basically building slowly improving and actually testing and making sure it work study what comes before basically always learn from your mistakes it shapes it weighs it colors basically who it's for and what it does and that is basically what it's all meant to be don't design something that is just for the sake of it design something that's for built for purpose and always built for progress and that's what this sneaker represents use obscure designs build test fail repeat that's a good philosophy guys failure is the start to success guys true development is a practice of continuous refinement and that is beautiful when you say that this sneaker is a product of ongoing research into how our bodies 
meet the ground. Basically how you actually walk, how you maneuver around ground, when you walk, when you run, when you crawl, all of that stuff guys. And crawling is not walking guys, I know. You know what I mean guys. But um, we opened up the archive, wore it, stripped it down, kept it working, added what was missing in pursuit of a permanent sneaker. And every better sneaker, a, every settled sneaker, a round the clock, made to last, built to code sneaker. This is it guys, basically this is all the meaning you need to know about the general purpose sneaker is not what you do is how you do it and that is a great great intake to this sneaker guys so let's take a look at this sneaker and hey presto shebang as you can see guys this has got that dark sofa upper on this this variation of this yellowy dark sofa that hits this actual sneaker the actual upper is actually made off this durable knit material open enough to breathe but tight enough to ward off any raindrop so it allows you to get the, all that heat off your feet and basically when you're running when you're exercising on this general purpose sneaker it allows you to get that breathability and even the tongue itself has got that breathability it literally is open-ended so you can actually see almost like you can see through the tongue itself and as you can see it allows all that durability to happen the midsole and the sole itself is based on this three-piece molded cup sole which basically allows the you that comfort that you need the outsole is basically this durable black outsole with based on this almost like soft gum rubber midsole and inside it's got that EVA foam encapsulated so it's like, like this Cree cup so imagine one two and then three inside basically giving you that comfort and this is absolutely gorgeous and it's entailed with this almost like new buck it is basically new but new buck that hits that toe here it goes all the way around almost it almost reminds me of some of the old-fashioned tennis shoes and basically comes back round to the heel where you get this actual stark soft and new butt that hits this it is soft it is really crazy soft and you can see some of that action on this is absolutely gorgeous look at that guys look at that absolutely beautiful and then you've got that white almost like white vinyl swoosh that runs on the lateral side and runs on the medial side that distinguishes this actual nike sneaker and it's got this herringbone ribbon that actually entails on that tongue and on the back panel that you can grab open up and actually fit your sneaker in absolutely beautiful and inside it's got this microfiber collar it is soft it is crazy soft look at that microfiber collar and as you can see in the inside it's got that dark sulfur insole let me just take this paper out that dark sulfur insole it's got enough of a movement enough of a basically opening to allow your feet to fit and it ties you in and all comes wrapped up with these white laces and what i love about this sneaker is this actual tag look at this nike tag look at that old traditional nike swoosh that swoosh is orange everything about this is going back to basics going back to the origins going back and opening up that nike vault and basically saying let's remake something that's absolutely special and as you can see it's almost got this like waffle like it is basically a waffle sole there you go guys that hits this absolutely gorgeous half like two thirds to maybe three quarters of this is all waffled out and it's got the nike craft right at the bottom there as well absolutely gorgeous black sole on deck absolutely beautiful and obviously they start putting their pattern numbers down there as well there you go guys that that is what nike is starting to do with most of their sneakers now but uh, another thing that's special about this is this right at the back it's got tom sacks and everything you need to know about the sneaker as well basically is giving you nike craft shoes uh manufactured to the exact specification of champion athletes throughout the world nightcraft supports all the activities of the life and tells your story so that's basically reflected on this sneaker as well and obviously it's got tom Sachs actual signature it's got the nike basically id of the sneaker but i also like the little touches on the sneaker like this is tom Sachs drawing of nike and basically they put it on the back of the sneaker but this is a beautiful sneaker beautiful feels like 1950 <laughs> <laughs> smells like smells very old smells like the sneakers that you used to get back in the day it is just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but on that note let's see, let me give you that 
front perspective, absolutely beautiful looking down. That booty actions perspective, look at that Nike on the back and obviously the lateral side, the medial side, and that absolutely gorgeous black, blacked out sole. And that 360 degree rotation, make sure this is on your feet. Make sure you're using it for the activities it's designed for, which is all of them. And make sure you basically bring that heat to your feet. Bang, bang, bang. It is definitely a general purpose sneaker. It's definitely a sneaker built for a lot of different activities it is basically an average looking sneaker but with so much meaning more is definitely less and more is definitely basically showcasing that you don't need to have the newest newest thing to have the heat on your feet this is a gorgeous gorgeous sneaker basically absolutely beautiful this is the tom Sachs general purpose archive dark soul for sneaker this is a review for that guys this is gorgeous i love this sneaker is is not mine i to be honest i should have gone for my size because this is actually quite nice this is actually quite nice if you really like the old-fashioned sneakers if you really like sneakers that actually were fit for purpose fit for purpose this is it definitely this is it bang guys bang this is a i'm gonna give this a five goats out of five and i'm gonna give it super goats because it, I, I feel like I would be dishonest to myself if, if I gave this a super got because basically I would have to get my size. This is definitely a five got. This is definitely a brilliant, brilliant sneaker. This is definitely something that you need to get when you can get. But the retail on this is quite a bit high. This is this retail is about hundred pounds and it is definitely a hundred pound sneaker. It's definitely a sneaker that's valued at that. This is definitely a sneaker that is basically supposed to be as cheap as possible, but also as productive as possible and to get to the masses. When Tom Sachs actually designed this sneaker and when he actually basically wanted to release this sneaker, he wanted everybody to have it and this is why it's called a general purpose sneaker. The idea is they're gonna keep releasing model after model after model after model every couple of months and basically give it to the masses. And this is why I think the resale, because it's gonna dip eventually, but at this moment in time, the resale is quite high. This You can get this for 100 pounds or you could actually got it on this release date for 100 pounds, but it's going for in excess of 200 pounds and more so when i'm talking about this this is definitely a sneaker that obviously over time will appreciate the first couple of models but then when they keep releasing more and more it will depreciate and resell but it means everybody will get it and that's the purpose of why this sneaker is releasing constantly in different colorways in different kind of aspects in different releases over months and months and months so if you want it guys i'm definitely recommending that you try and get this sneaker if you really want this because it's definitely a great premium sneaker in hand and it's built to use so make sure you basically use it for what it's recommended for but this is a gorgeous gorgeous looking sneaker i think this is a women's sneaker but it came in extended sizes so you could actually get this up to size 14 i think uk which is great because i meant a lot of people could get it but this is a gorgeous looking sneaker look at that absolutely beautiful so that was a review for the tom Sachs general purpose sneaker archive dark sofa absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful five goats out of five a definite definite pinpoint in history because this is a sneaker that's going to live down and keep keep building momentum over the future so thank you for joining and thank you for tuning in like i always say thank you for staying along to the end for this review and on that note like i say at the end of all the videos hope you have an amazing week amazing month and an amazing year and hope you guys cop the sneakers you like because you all deserve to get the sneakers you want for me tj at love kit cousins peace out for now guys and peace